Hey guys, Stu here with CRST Safety. Just doing a safety Saturday for you. What I want to do is a pre-trip inspection on the trailer. For this inspection, all I'm going to do is the structure rigidity of the trailer. We're going to look at the panels, we're going to look at the side rail, check up underneath the cross beams, make sure the landing gear is solid, nothing's missing on that. Come on with me. Right now, we're making sure that the side rail is not missing any rivets, panels aren't missing any rivets, no tears or any holes in there so water can get in, no kind of structural integrity damage whatsoever. You want to make sure that your landing gear underneath is solid. Get down down here. Make sure that the welds are still good. Nothing's cracked. Make sure that everything is straight up and down. Making sure that K-bar inside has no bends or breaks or tears in it. Make sure that it's solid. That way when uh, somebody's in there with a fork truck, they're going to stay up there. They're not going to come through the floor. Keep coming this way. Make sure that all your rivets, again, are still here. Make sure there are no splices or any damage to your side rail. If you have that, that's where these things can start zippering apart and that floor can start dropping in this 30-foot section. That's pretty important. Keep on coming back. We got a skirt here, so you make sure that you get underneath. Go ahead and climb underneath there and check out all those I-beams. Make sure that everything is looking straight, everything is solid, no cracks, no tears, no nothing. If you have any kind of damage in there, a fork truck can come right through there. You don't want that. Keep finalizing it all the way through the rear, make sure everything's looking good. You might see some scrapes like this on here when you're doing that, making sure that your rivets are still intact. If you're missing any rivet on the side rail and the panels, that's something to note. That could cause a structural integrity compromise right there. Other than that, just make sure that your trailer is safe, compliant, and stay safe out there, guys.